All right, Elite Code 3, we're gonna do a uh, Melbourne, a little bit different style this time because I uh, filmed the video on Monday and the lighting was off. It was just all bright and looked weird. And I just, I wasn't happy with it. So we're gonna delete that. And the packages are already open and stuff. So there's the three stacks of cards we're gonna show. Yeah. So we're just gonna do it this way for this Melbourne. Um, let's get started. Starting off with this uh, Saquon Barkley. 2018 certified nice card a um, little sliver there in the patch window I'll, I'll try to give you guys prices on this stuff there's a lot of certified football and a lot of Lamar Jackson just to start this one off so uh, I paid too much for this I paid like 35 bucks so it's not easy or cheap to get Barkley cards and he's kind of a candidate um, for his cards to be worth less in the future just because he's a tailback in his first year that's when the hype's the highest etc Here's another Barkley. This is cool. I might just get this graded and keep it for the PC just to have one uh, Barkley for the PC. So to 50, he had a fantastic run on Sunday. So this is a two-color patch um, certified. This is the uh, blue. Another Barkley. Oops. This is the the uh, orange one to 3.99. These are about I'd say 12. 10 to 15 shipped if you're looking for one of these. Um, here's a Rosen. Can't remember the price on this one. I want to say 75 or so. This is the blue to 50 with a nice patch. So it looks like it's in pretty good shape. The uh, quality control on Certified 18 is pretty shabby. I think Panini did a better job the last two years and they kind of dropped the ball on their quality control in that set, in my opinion, at least this year. Um, here's just like a binder hanker. So there's a little bit of baseball mixed in, but it's kind of getting into football season now. So you're going to see a lot of football going forward until about February. And then we'll switch back to baseball. Uh, Hank Aaron, just like his last card, right? 76. Here's a Lindor. Tops update. These are starting to heat up a little bit. It's about like a $10 to $15 card if you're looking to buy one of those. I think it'd be wise to buy one now. I think that card's only... Oh my god, room for growth. It's not a, a rare card at all, but the Trout's not a rare card at all either. And, and look at that one. Uh, we got a few of these Correas. This is the top, the exact same set as the uh, Lindor. Now, his stuff's cooled, and Lindor's actually, I think he's worth more than Correa now. It was the other way around, but um, Correa just hasn't produced, and he's been hurt a lot, so that's what happens. Here's an... Nolan Arenado, Tops Update. So lots of Tops Update. I'm a huge fan of that set. I just think uh, eventually there's a chance that some of the cards could be worth a lot more. And I think the Trout kind of set the bar. Not saying any of these are ever going to be the Trout because they're probably not. No, they, they're not. But still. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the Alta Foreman, but this is his blue from 17 Elite to 15 for like 3 bucks plus shipping. This is sick. It was 60 bucks though. So I've been buying some Lamar Jacksons. I don't know if he kind of reminds me of Vic. I don't know what's going on, but he's an, an intriguing player to me. I don't know how it's going to pan out. This, this one's out of 10 though with the slick patch. Um, if I had to tell in, investors, if, if you're investing, in, to invest wisely, I would say don't buy Lamar Jackson. <laughs> so do the opposite of what I did here in this mail bin. Um, here's like a gold etch. They call it etch because like the surface has like a weird looking thing going on. This one's the 25. It's a neat one. This is the gold. I don't remember the price on it. Probably about a hundred bucks or so. Uh, Verdugo Base Finest. About five bucks plus shipping. Um, doesn't have a ton of hobby. But he hasn't done much in the majors yet. He's just kind of kind of been waiting his time. Here's a Correa update. Uh, rookie debut. It's a neat card for like two bucks. This was cool. I think it was 30, 35 shipped. It's the Don Russ Cal. I'll have to check the pop on this, but I think this is a pretty tough set. Beautiful card, though. This seems like a set that would be off centered pretty easily. And I believe that. Tens in that are over 200. I haven't checked the market on those. I card like that. I just grab grab some nines and then go forward with other stuff. 
This was five bucks shipped, so it costs more to slab. It, it's a nine, though. I don't know why I really bought this, but it just seemed cheap. Um, this is a set where you should be grabbing tens. Most of the time, unless you miss something that was scratched. But, uh... Here's the mandatory. Uh, this next next six cards coming up, I th they're from PWCC. So this is the Black Refactor. These are tough. To 100. It's in the old slab. Uh, 1,400,000. So um, most likely it's slabbed around 2002. The Black, about 160 on this one. So I can't even imagine what the breeze of this would go for now with the way his hobbies exploded. Um... Here's LT. This is Pacific. This was about a hundred bucks, but from experience, I know this set's impossible. So it's it's got a high print, but it's still a, an on card Tomlinson rookie and PSA ten is pretty cool. This is the best card in the the mail bin. So I I got one of these not that long ago, and I picked up another one for around thirteen hundred. This is kind of one I'm just gonna stash away. I think uh, this card will only rise in the future and I think the way the the breeze has kind of jumped in market value I think the LT will slowly um, gain some momentum in the future when people see how much the breeze is going for and how solid of a player LT was that was my thought pattern on that one uh, this is the base one in 99 so for, for some reason Lamar Jackson his base RPAs and certified are all numbered lower so he's out of 99 I think the next lowest is 175, so. Peterson Refractor, he had a great great week one. He's already, he, he was already counted out, and he's proved the uh, doubters wrong. It seems like people just want to see him retire, but he's not ready to. He's going to tack on to those stats. I'm just crossing my fingers he'll stay healthy. Uh, Lamar Jackson, this is the orange. These elite cards are just beautiful. This one's the 25. Here's a Sam Darnold. I'm sure his stuff's going up already because he had one decent game, but that's the way collectors are. They get so fickle. Uh, this is blue to 50 with a nice patch. About 20 bucks on this one. Christian Kirk. This was like five bucks shipped. I don't know what he'll do this year, but this is the blue with a decent patch. 50 just like the, the Darnold here is a Panini Origins now the, this set's gonna be really tough to slab I've, I've watched the breaks and I've gotten cards in the mail of it and they just come um, beat up the white is very evident if you are a collector or you're trying to slab this set I think you're gonna have a tough time with it so that is just like a base jersey to 75 for about seven bucks shipped uh, we got this rose and gold etch 25 nice patch this one was over 100 don't remember the exact price on it but it's it's a slab can so we'll see um what's going on with that that top right corner doesn't look perfect so on certified 18 i'm probably looking for psc 9s because i think 10s are going to be really hard with that set um here's a kamara this one is uh the purple to 99 about 10 bucks on that and then this Bradley Chubb's cool because it's out of five. It's from Elite Draft Picks. I'm not a huge fan of that set. I think it's kind of ugly. But uh, this is number low and it's got the, a decent photo. So that one. We got Lamar Jackson Orange. So $3.99. That was about seven bucks shipped. Uh, here's a Peterson Chrome. This was about 25 to 30 I'll just say prices and you guys figure that I am including shipping in there because sometimes shipping gets pretty out of hand. I got people charging me four fifty shipping for a three dollar car. I don't know what's going on. Um, Tory Holt, couple Holtz. This is the rookies and stars signature series. I'm to, to one fifty. That's a crazy low print. And it's on card too. It's a beautiful Holt. Uh, should be Holt. All right, so we got the excitement one. So this is out of 250. Great looking card. Um, definitely would, would like to slab one of these. I, I did slab one of these in a 10 before. So um, there's a little white on the corner. Probably an 8.5 or so. 
Uh, Saquon, this is the Elite, 94 of 99. Uh, great looking card. Around 30 bucks. Not cheap to get any, any Barclays. He's got the most hobby in this class. Um, but I don't think that'll last in the long run. I think one of the quarterbacks will overtake him by the end of the first year. I, that's my prediction on that. Chipper Jones, this is ama an amazing card because um, obviously it's the exact same set as the Jeter. The Chipper is, isn't a rookie card. That's why it doesn't have the value of the Jeter. But it's still, you know, he's a Hall of Famer. It's an early Chipper. His rookie year is 91. Um, and a mint nine. So what's the the Jeter mint nines go for? A couple thousand, two or three. Uh, I got this for forty bucks. So pretty stoked about it. It's clean as can be too. This is just an impossible set. I mean that's a that's the corner is razor sharp. If you guys can see that. Uh, we got some more Lamar Jackson trickling in here. This is two of two of eight. It was about forty bucks. Status blue. Just a low end parallel from Elite. Couldn't, couldn't pass it up. Sony Michelle, who's, I don't even know if he's practicing right now, but this was like five bucks. Orange Panini, Panini Origins. I'm not, definitely not breaking that product. That's just a, that, that product's made for group breaks. I mean, you're going to get slaughtered if you try to do boxes of that. You might get a good hit here and there, but you pretty much have to hit a quarterback to even break even. So it's just, not a uh, smart decision if you're into breaking. Uh, Baker Mayfield, it's a 99. It's about 12 bucks. So he's got about half the hobby of Barkley right now. Here's a Darnold. Uh, I actually left uh, neutral feedback because I, I had to retape it. The card was stuck to this masking tape because he didn't pinch it. So I, I think I put didn't pinch masking tape and I gave him a neutral. I don't like to do that, but. People got to learn how to ship at some point. So 10 of 10 on this one. Probably try to slab it anyway if it's in good shape. Uh, DJ Moore, who only played 17 snaps last week. This was this is expensive too. It was like 90 bucks. Um, it's it's numbered out of five on the right there. It's a, the uh, turn of the century blue. So we'll see. You know he's a first year wide out. We'll see how he pans out going forward. Um, Chad Thomas, 25, AJ Green to 49, and a purple primary color is Russell Wilson. That one's to 75, so those are just kind of, I think I think those all came in a lot. Yeah, there's a big lot over here of elite stuff. Um, I'm not going to go through them all. Well, I'm not going to say them all. I'll just flip through and you guys can take a look at them. Uh, a lot of these are reds. That's a face-to-face base. Uh, Roquan Smith, that's cool. There's a spellbound, so the, a lot of these are just penny cans to keep auctions flowing in the store. It's kind of helped me gain more uh, followers and traction in the store, so I'm trying to keep it keep uh, auctions going most of the time. So that's what that is. Uh, Roquan Smith. This is the uh, green one. So uh, this is out of five. It was about thirty bucks too. I, th I think he's got a bright future. It's only going to help him playing with uh, Mac now too. Bears have a, Bears have a bright future. Now they did, they did collapse on Sunday night, but they're a young team. I think their quarterback is. Um, I don't know what to think about him yet. He's too young. He hasn't played enough. And we'll just kind of see how he uh, pans out moving forward. Um, I think he uh, just has a lot to learn, and he still needs to develop too. So we'll see kind of how that how that works out in the long run. Um, Fournette Blue. Whoops. It's like ten bucks. It's a fifty. Great patch. And I believe he's playing this week with, with the hamstring. Here's Chubb, Pen Pals. Um, this was about 10 for the more, and the Chubb was like 7. So a couple Pen Pals. I mean, you get one of these per hobby box of Elite. That's a fun product. It's just you get slaughtered. 
lot of the football products you just get killed in. White Onyx Moss. This is out of 2250 so great low print on it for about 15 bucks. These were shipped. I don't... They weren't shipped like this, but I don't know why they're not in top loaders, but... Uh, these are some uh, relics from museum collection. These actually look cool. So Goldschmidt 75, Marte to 99, and Donaldson to 99. So, I mean, these aren't the best penny cans because they're thick and you you almost need to ship them with tracking in a bubble. So I don't, I'd probably just put those in fixed price. I've kind of learned some uh, lessons over the course of doing the uh, penny cannon. And it's just... Um, Sometimes you need to uh, use tracking, and it's just tough to ship those thicker cards. Got all these slabs over here, I'm readjusting. They're getting in the way. Uh, Four net purple. This is out of ten. So it's cheap too, like twenty bucks. So last year at this time, this would have been fifty bucks at, at least. So just shows you if you just wait a little bit, you can get cards a lot cheaper. Um, so this is one I picked up, there was a coupon code, Pronto15, and it was like the middle of August, and they had this one, um, 15% off, so I just went forward with, with the, uh, coupon and, uh, saved a little on it, got it for a great price, so it's a six of mantle, um, you know, it's not a perfectly centered example, but it, it is a six, so, it's a neat card though. Uh, Rookies and Stars Moss 98 And then we've got uh, Jared Goff This is the uh, Limited To 25 This was like 60 bucks um, he's, he's got a crazy bright future And I, I think he's a definite I'm, I am working on the Bulls and Bears slowly, but uh, Goff is definitely a buy. Uh, his cards definitely haven't peaked, and he's a young quarterback, so we'll see. Uh, Lamar Jackson Gold, the 25. This was about 25 bucks. A little sliver of purple there. Purple or black, I can't tell. We got some Darnold Gold teams. Yeah, this was like a... Uh, all from the same person. It's a lot. So we got Darnold to, to 99. Barkley, gold team red to 99. Kind of weird. Gold team red. Uh, and then there's like five of these Darnold. So I'm, I might slab a couple of those and then just put the other in the store as cans. Uh, Calvin Ridley gold. He didn't really make much noise week one. So we'll see. Kind of like the same boat as uh, DJ Moore. First round wide out so let's give them some time to develop see what their uh, role is going to be going forward so three color patch of 25 that was like five bucks his stuff's dirt cheap uh radioactive rookie now this is panini elements and it's kind of a weird set this card's really heavy it's made out of, like steel like i don't know how to show you guys this but that's steel <laughs> i banged the side on here i'm not gonna slab it because i uh you can't really hurt it it's uh I've never seen a card like this, so interesting. Don't know if I'm a huge fan of that set. Barkley Blue. This, this one was a better price, like 20 or 25. Here's a Moss. Now I have a, a lot of respect for this set because I always send these in and get nine. So here's a 10 of the, and it's uh, in the, the lighthouse too, so it's been within the last year 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 and a half or so um here's some more prop sign or pwcc stuff so we got this lt future watch this was like 170 i thought it was a great deal uh three colors to 500 definitely try to slab this one just get it in the slab try, try and get an eight or higher just see what happens with it uh ronald jones he was a healthy scratch this was about 10 bucks this is panini gold standard that's another football product that you'll just get absolutely murdered on if you break it there's just not much value to be had unless you have a monster hit. And it's just not fun doing that for me because I'm not 
in, I'm not obsessed with the hits like a lot of collectors. I like getting a lot of cards and base rookies and stuff like that. So, Rose and Red, five bucks. Uh, another Pen Pals more. These sit around ten to twelve. So, not the coolest card. Looks like a prison mugshot or something. This was a great deal, but this top right corner is creased, so I'll have to contact PWCC for a return. It's just very obvious. And, you know, first I'll check the description. If it says it was creased in it, then I'm not going to do anything. That's the way it is. You just, but the way the uh, eBay is, the buyer's always right, so I could still return it, but that's not the right thing to do. So at some point you have to do the morally right thing and not just take advantage of the system. That's a video for another day, an AL rant of us selling on eBay. Here's an Albies Chrome. That's cool. These are around, I think they're 75 now. You know, the, the, the power tailed off. The average is still around 270, but people like the home runs. Here's a Cal. Ultimate to 95. This was like 95 bucks, absolute steal. And it looks crispy too. And then lastly, Lamar Jackson. Elite. Base. Seven bucks probably. That's it guys. That's the stack. Different format, but we'll get back to the package format next time. I'm out. Later. Take care.